Welcome Arisen to my quest guide for a game of wits on the mountain shrine. The only requirement for this quest is that you actually find the shrine. And I recommend bringing at least one or two port crystals, be an archer or a wayfarer with a bow. And it helps if you haven't any seeker totems picked up yet. We start with finding the shrine. You start in Wernworth and take the ox cart to Rest Town. From here you follow the street north and take a left hike to the ancient battleground. Once there you keep on the left uh, where you can see the dragon and the cyclops fight till you find the world's end cavern. And from there you follow this caverns till the end to the mountain shrine. At this point you can find one of the books you need for the Spellbound and a Sorcerer's Appraisal quest. I recommend taking this. Remember that I told you to not have a Seekers token yet? That's because I want you to take this one. Finally at the shrine immediately drop a port crystal. This is important and you will need it later. Now a fairy stone can whisk us here whensoever we desire. Another dogged adventurer come to take my life. Perhaps I might interest you in a game of wits instead. I set before you a simple task. Solve my riddles to satisfaction. Should your answers please me, I will bestow upon you the contents of yon chests. Our eyes are our allies, yet oft do they betray, for eyes tell lies. So I advise, and thence do lead astray. Yet, how will your eyes advise you? Venture through yonder door, and retrieve that which is of greatest value. Now make your way through the door and immediately turn around. Above the door is a chest with a vial and that is what the Sphinx want. Make your way back and the first riddle is solved. Indeed, this is what I sought. Your eyes see true. No greater worth can there be than that found in simplicity. As promised, I shall bestow upon you a prize. Collect it from yon chest and take this vial too. Its purpose I shan't divulge. How you use it is up to you. 
Outstanding. Come to test your wits. Love is as twin to madness, they say. They are bound fast as night is today. So bring forth your most beloved to me, that I might gauge the depth of your insanity. For this, just grab your main pawn. This will do, and the Sphinx is satisfied. A promise made, a promise kept. And so I shall open for you a chest. It is not what I expected. Come to test your wits. The parent knows the child, yet the reverse is far from true. The child knows not the parent, such is the parent's due. I am a lost child, for kinship do I yearn. So bring to me my parent, that I might better learn. For this, make your way to the Rift Stone of Fellowship and grab a pawn which has Swings in his name and is from Capcom. I'm not sure if player created pawns work as well. Indeed, you are correct. All is in the name. You have proven your wits, and so I shall bestow upon you a prize. Collect it from yon chest at your leisure. A result to be proud of. Come to test your wits. Life is an enigma, a lender of mortal debt. Yet lighter pack makes fleet of foot and challenge nimbly met. So grant to me what you most prize and thence elude your ponderous demise. Whatever you give her will be duplicated as a reward, so I recommend giving her a port crystal, especially if you only brought one to this quest. That's the spirit. Such generosity deserves a reward, methinks. Why don't you take a peek in your chest? to test your wits. It's ever the first we keep fond in our breast, and ever the first that eclipses the rest. You know of the Seeker's tokens, I trust. Those keepsakes of a fondly remembered journey. Yet where was it that you found your first? Retrace your steps if you can. You might make a new discovery. Seven days, shall we say, ere you return? May your journey be a pleasant one. Hopefully the first one will be the one I recommended. So you just have to walk this little bit back into the cave and pick up the finder's token, which will now be in this place. Otherwise, you'll have quite a search in front of you. I see I needn't have worried. Well sought and well found. I trust it was a pleasant jaunt. As promised, you shall have your prize. Look for it in yon chest. Five riddles have I posed, and five answers have you given. Perhaps you expected more, but I'm afraid that's that. Our next game shall have to take a different tack. Though constant this world may seem, in truth all is in flux. And so the time has come for me to fly. 
If you are not yet satisfied, seek me at my new abode. But for now, I bid you farewell, dogged adventurer. This is important, you have to be quick. Ignore your war chest and grab onto the Sphinx. By doing so, you can stay on her and she will take you all the way to her new location in Bathbathal and you won't have to travel there. You will later come back to the port crystal you placed there and can grab the chest. If you didn't manage to grab her, you have to go there on foot. Just follow the west road from Rest Town till you reach the Frontier Shrine. Well, so dearly did you love our game that you have sought me out again. Let us resume at once. I too have grown rather impressed. <laughs> <laughs> Once landed, place a port crystal you brought, or got as a reward. The second half of the riddles are randomized, so you might have to jump between the timestamps. Now, questions beget questions, and I have one for you. How many riddles have you solved thus far? My memory fails me, you see. Remind me, and make it plain. Let yonder statues be your means. For every question aptly answered, bring one here before me. There are 11 riddles in total. The flight here counted as one as well. If you are not sure how many riddles you solved already, just take a look at the chests. Uh, every red chest is a riddle that's still coming. So, four red lights means four statues have to be left on the ground. My, that's quite a number. And the correct one, no less. I see you're keeping track. Of course, your erudition shan't go unrewarded. Result to be proud of. So vast is this world and full of life. You are but one of many. Indeed, in the grand scheme, we are as distinct from one another as pebbles on a beach. Yet we do so love to extol our differences. But are these differences so great? If you believe so, this next task should prove exceedingly simple. I seek this man. If men are so distinct, I'm sure you'll find him. Take a look at his hair. Is it curly or straight? Now's your chance to port back to the first location Grab the port crystal you placed there and your missing reward. Hopefully you remember, did he have curly or straight hair? Regardless, you have to go to rest town for curly hair to the south side and straight hair to the north side. North you find Dante and South Virgil. In my case it was Virgil. Just pick him up and teleport back to the Sphinx. a human from the faceless swarm is no less a challenge than to seek a single grain of sand on the Alta Batal coast. Yet pluck you have, and for that I congratulate you. Another prize is yours for the taking. Outstanding! How 
easily the mind unravels. Some say it's pain that does it best, others darkness, but I say neither. Rather, I say a mind cannot be more soundly broken than when it beholds its earnest efforts laid low in a single stroke. Could you survive such despair? We shall see. Here, I have an amphora destined for Sir Moritz in Batal. Deliver it to him, but beware, it's rather fragile. So of course you don't take it, but instead take him. Just grab him and run just outside of the city so you can use a fairy stone. <laughs> What in the world were you thinking, bringing me to such a place? Hold a moment. That vase. It cannot be. For generations now, my family has been charged with a duty to seek out this amphora. Well, well. The amphora has been delivered intact. I not thought you had it in you. Though I'd hope to savor your dismay, you shall have your prize all the same. A result to be proud of. Though ours is a battle of wits, tests of metal are more to your strength. Is that not so? Come. Try your arm, though he shall be your opponent, not... However, I am not one to be amused by a simple duel. Bear this ring into battle, that I might gauge your true strength. The Swings put a ring on you that makes fighting futile, and you can't take it off of Riddle. So just grab him and throw him off the cliff. This will suffice and the battle is won. Good show! It seems your mind is as strong as your arm. You have more than earned your reward. Another chest is yours to claim. Don't forget to switch back to your original ring and grab your reward. And with that, our game comes to an end, as amusing as it has been. I shall now take my leave of you to await the next courageous soul who would test their wits against mine. You remember me telling you to bring a bow? This is why. Equip the unmaking arrow and kill the Sphinx. That will do. Most impressive, I must say. I always hope that you and I shall meet again. It has been long indeed since I was last so entertained. With this you can grab your final reward, the Eternal Wakestone, and be done with this quest. And as always, stay strong and kill a dragon!